Can you get everybody's attention, please? We'll, we'll get this started. Uh, my name is Jack Strange. I'm the uh, FAA Safety Team Program Manager at the Washington FISDO. And uh, we're here tonight to present the uh, Wright Brothers Master Pilot Award. And I'd just like to uh, give a little background on what the award is, what it means. Uh, in the early 2000s, uh, FAA senior leadership decided that uh, people who had made a significant contribution to uh, the art and science of aviation, specifically aviation safety, should get uh, recognition for, uh, well, for it's a, a Lifetime Achievement Award. This is the most prestigious award that the uh, FAA has to offer. And uh, so we're here tonight to, uh, to uh, present it. The requirements for the uh, for the award are a minimum of uh, 50 years service. Uh, bring it a little bit here. How's that? Okay. Uh, uh, minimum of 50 years in aviation. Um, spotless safety record. Uh, record of uh, uh, significant contribution to uh, aviation in general, and uh, a significant contribution to aviation safety. And that's what the award's all about. So to present the award, we have our, uh, our office manager from the FISDO, uh, Mark Fair. Good, e Good evening, everybody. Do I need to uh, mic up, or can you hear me OK? Hear you OK? Yeah. Everybody's OK? Good. I want to say it's an honor and a pleasure to be here. I don't get to do these all the time, but uh, any time that I have the opportunity, uh, Whatever time of day it is, I'm here because this is this is such a special time, and not just for Stephen, but for all the pilots here. It's 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 something for for all of us to aspire to to maintain that passion, and and safe safety conscious and everything that goes into it uh, to to last 50 years. Uh, I can't even imagine. I'm I'm at 29 right now. I can't I can't imagine getting to 50, but it's a target, so I'm going to hope that I get there. I want to read something. I have a, uh, just a very short poem. Uh, imagine if you would a little boy uh, back in maybe 1940s, 1950s, and he's clutching a little wooden model airplane, and he's got his little leather flight jacket on, his leather hat, he's got his goggles sitting up on top, and he's looking up at the sky. This is called the Little Aviator. Boys had boats, their favorite toy, not I when I was just a boy. I dreamt of wings for soaring high and cutting wakes across the sky. And where my hero's footsteps went, I'd follow in the firmament. It's very simple. But I believe Stephen, his brother, his son, every pilot in this room, probably when they were knee-high to a grasshopper and saw an airplane, looked up, started to get that passion. Now, whether you waited to age 32 like I did to start flying, uh, that was my choice, but the passion was always there. And, uh, and it's, just, uh, it's just special for me to be here, so I really appreciate it. So with, without further ado, if we could get Chris and uh, Susan, please. We have a letter and then we have a plaque uh, to present. Uh, this is from the Department of Transportation, Federal Aviation Administration. The Wright Brothers Master Pilot Award is presented to Stephen Bela Zaboy in appreciation for your dedicated service, technical expertise, professionalism, and many outstanding contributions to further the cause of aviation safety. This is signed by Michael Huerta. He's our current administrator. And I, I have to say, this is probably one of the most beautiful plaques that the FAA uh, puts together. But it says, 50 years of dedicated service in aviation safety, Department of Transportation, Federal Aviation Administration. The Wright Brothers Master Pilot Award presented to Stephen Bayless, the boy. November 21st, 2017. 
in recognition of your contributions to building and maintaining the safest aviation system in the world through practicing and promoting safe aircraft flight operations for 50 years. Chris, go ahead and say a few words now. Okay. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for being here this evening. Uh, my uncle was an airline pilot and had known my dad his entire life. He uh, was the one that got my dad into aviation. My dad called him Monkey See, Monkey Do. And uh, they've, they've had a lot of experience together in adventures, and he recommended to me earlier this year that I put up my dad for a master pilot. And how the application works is it's a, we need three uh, pilots who know known the pilot well to nominate him. So I was very fortunate enough. I wrote a letter of recommendation. My uncle wrote one, and our good friend Farhad Saba also wrote one. And with that came a resume. That was another part of it. And I'd like to read part of, it, part of the resume to you today. So he, his first solo was in April at Travis Air Force Base in 1961. So he's been doing this for a very long time. And from that, he's gained the ratings of private and commercial, CFI and uh, instrument, multi-engine, ATP. Uh, he's accumulated over 14,000 hours, which is a lot for a civilian pilot. And he's owned multiple aircraft. He's owned a Cessna 210 and a 310 and a Twin Comanche. And I, all I hear is stories of the adventures he's had on that and the experiences he's gained. And he would often tell me that the past 10, 15 years were probably the best. And it was for multiple reasons. He felt like he was, he was teaching a lot. He, he was an instructor, he loved to teach, and he loved to just share what he knew. Um, and he, he, he flew for a a local family, and they, they would go on all types of adventures, and they created a very strong family friendship with them. And they've been very helpful to us uh, recently. And it's just, he, he met all these people at the airport, and he would fly with them, and it's just all these friendships blossomed. And it was very apparent that the community was coming forth. And he just, he was so happy. And in addition to that, we joined the Skyline Soaring Club. I, seven years ago, a little over seven years ago, we went out with the local family. And I took my first lesson, and I was hooked. And it was, he would support me almost every single weekend. And that's become a major passion of mine, and hopefully a, a very fruitful career. So I just want to thank you all for coming out and acknowledging this, this incredible career that my dad has had. And uh, he was very excited when I told him that we were putting up for Master Pilot. And <laughs> If, if you're familiar with his relationship with Farhad, he wanted to hang it over his head when that he was a master pilot when they got into arguments. But uh, it was just, it was a good way to end uh, his career. So thank you all for being here and to the FAA. And I think, Farhad, would you like to say something? Well, thank you for uh, coming tonight. Um, you know, I met Steve about six years ago and um, uh, almost immediately it was uh, hangar banter at the, at the you know, at first sight. Um, uh, we got along almost instantaneously and um, I often wondered why Steve and I got along so well. Well, um, we're both um, immigrants and we both love this country for what um, it's done for us. And um, we both um, robbed a cradle and married much more beautiful than the young woman. <laughs> and, and, um, and we both have wonderful kids, although I often told Steve, um, uh, either Susan raised those kids by herself, or I would really like to meet the milkman. So, uh, to which he always, um, you know, shook his head and gave me a dirty look. And, 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 but, uh, so Steve and I um, flew a lot together. Uh, he was always there for me, and every time I had a um, hard flight coming up, bad weather, um, I asked him, and he was always there, never turned me down. 
And uh, a few times he asked me to fly with him. And uh, I always rubbed it in his face that he needed a better pilot. So, <laughs> so um, when uh, Chris first, first asked me to write this letter, you know, I told him I had to think about it. I knew that Steve was going to get this award and rub it in my face, and I just couldn't live with it. Uh, but um, the truth is that he really was a professional. He really was a master, not just in aviation, but in friendship, in, in family, uh, in his family relationship. He loved his family. We had long uh, discussions. Uh, we took really long flights. And uh, he loved his wife and his kids, and, and I love you guys too. So, thank you. Okay, uh, one more thing that I forgot to mention on the introduction. Uh, on the FAA website, faa.gov, there's a section for the uh, Wright Brothers Master Pilot Award. It's a, uh, a Hall of Honor. and. Uh, Steve Zabo's boy's name. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, we'll be on that uh, uh, roll of honor permanently. So if anybody wants to look it up, it'll be there probably within a couple of weeks. It takes a, a little time to turn it around. So, good. All right. Well, thank you very much. We want to make it short and sweet, and just um, hope to talk to you. And there's plenty of food in the back. And, uh, have a wonderful evening. Thank you.